Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I have a game of Vengeance Juggernaut here for you. Just in time to talk about the PTS. The PTS, of course, stands for Public Test Server. If you don't know what that is, every once in a while before Bioware launches a major new release, they will put out this thing called the PTS, which is the Public Test Server where they will essentially pre-release unfinished content so that players can go in, test it out, and see what's going on. And then they ask for feedback on the PTS and say, hey, what do you like about this? Do you think this is working as intended? Do you find any bugs, etc." So right now, after the whole 9.0 release, they put out the Juggernaut and Guardians PTS. So if you actually want to access the PTS, you can go into Steam. If you go into Steam and go to the Swotor main page, there's going to be a little box that says, hey, are you looking to access the Swotor public test server? If you click that button, it'll take you to a download page. It is a full re-download, so you know, prepare to break your computer for a while. And additionally, it's going to take up a good chunk of space your computer because you're taking up a, a whole new session of Swotor. So if you want to check it out, you can go do it there. What they're going to do is then uh, encourage you to create a guardian. And then once you create a guardian, you're not actually going to be playing the story. You're going to go down to the taxi on the Tython where you are supposed to go and kill Flesh Raiders. Uh, then you're going to say, nah, I'm going to talk to this droid instead. If you talk to the droid, he'll say, okay, yep, let me take you to fleet real quick. The droid will take you to fleet, and then you can go over to the combat section of fleet, where you can then click on a whole bunch of droids that give you gear, and then they're asking you to test out a couple of different skill trees. Now, we've heard rumors about skill trees coming back a little bit in uh, 9.0, and this is kind of the first look we've had to check it out. Now, the skill trees as they stand are kind of cattywampus. You can see right now, I filled out three and a half full bars of, of proper Vengeance Juggernaut abilities, right? But when I go to the PTS and choose one of the disciplines, uh, I don't have it anymore. I'm missing a good chunk of abilities, and a lot of those abilities are locked behind skill trees, which is kind of a frustrating experience. I feel like a lot of games have fallen into the trap of pruning abilities. If you remember, I don't mean to talk about the uh, the game that shot my name also. Oh, big cut to pieces, let's go. Um, the game that shot my name, World of Warcraft. That went through a metamorphosis when they went through a large pruning during Battle for Azeroth. And a lot of my favorite classes in that game went from a fast paced, fun adventure to a very slow, boring game that I didn't care to play anymore. I played the game for maybe two months and then I quit because I got bored. And I'm worried that something similar is going to happen to Swotor if something doesn't change. Now, right now, the skill trees they have set up are all using core abilities that have been set up in the game as it stands, right? They haven't made anything new to test out in these skill trees. So what I'm hoping that they're doing is I'm hoping that they are creating the basic mechanics of what a skill tree would look like and then filling out those skill trees with actually new or different abilities. I'm really hoping they don't make you choose between Inure, Blade, Blit, Blade Blitz, and Saber Reflect on the same row. What I'm hoping they're doing is they are throwing abilities that they already have into a skill tree setup and then putting those abilities into the skill trees and not actually considering that to be the proper way the skill trees are going to flow. That is my hope. And we will see. Because you have to remember that the PTS is, is, is exactly what it says it is. It's a public test server. It is a stomping ground that Bioware can mess around with and try new things out. And, then, and they say blatantly, hey, this is the public test server. It's going to appear and disappear at random. We're going to take the servers on and offline if we feel like making an update, etc. Uh, they owe you nothing in the public test server. It is not the way that SWOTOR is designed to be played. You're not going to have a proper gameplay experience by playing on the PTS. It's just not going to happen. It is in a state of constant flux, and it would be like turning in your first draft of your assignment and be like, hey, this is done, um, and that's not what it's designed to do. So my hope is that we are just testing out the mechanics of a skill tree instead of actually testing out what the skill tree actually look like, but that is just a hope. You can see here, oh, big cut to pieces, big cut to pieces. I don't know if you noticed in this game, we don't actually have a healer in this game. We are completely self-reliant on our own DCDs here. 
Um, and they do have a healer, which makes things a little rough for us, but we do have a, a real a real lad that is just giving us the fat guard and keeping us alive for as long as possible. So we're able to lay down the, the major, major cut to pieces damage and just really make me a happy boy. So what would I hope that would actually appear in the skill trees? If the skill trees are not going to stay the way they are right now, and they're, they're actually going to create new ways for the skill tree to play, what would I hope that would look like? Well, I would hope that they implement a lot of the tactical items into the skill tree, as so that way they get away from having to, to balance or to bring forward all the tactical items that we've come to know and love, and they can just plug them into the skill tree to make it competitive that way. The issue with implementing a skill tree, though, is that it sounds like it encourages player choice, but it really doesn't, because players are smart. Like we, we are not children. We, we understand that there is a optimal and a suboptimal way to play the game, right? And so once the optimal skill tree is discovered, that's just what people are going to run. You're going to have a very difficult time balancing out all of the different choices you can make to make each of them competitive to the point where there's not just going to be one uh, that some turbo nerd on the internet comes on and says, hey, just pick this tree, this tree, this tree, and this tree. Because they already had it with utilities, right? We have the utility system in place, and they said... Uh, and, and everyone basically knows, hey, if you're not taking the right utilities, you're basically throwing. In, in the same way, it, it's the illusion of player choice that isn't actually player choice. It is uh, player Googles on uh, the internet and then comes back with the correct decision. Now, of course, there are newer players that, you know, will feel like, hey, I have the option to customize my character the way I see fit. Um, but those players probably wouldn't be as engaged with the current system as it is anyway, right? If, if you are, the, the players that don't care about as much about taking the optimal route will find a way to conquer the story mode content, right? It's not that hard. Also, I have to point this out. This guy says, lol shitters after running uh, headlong into four enemy players, uh, sir. That is your decision to walk uh, into the entire enemy team that is costing you your life. Uh, so... The usual formula applies of he who talks shit in general chat, there is an inverse correlation between in-game shit talk and in-game skill. What are we talking about? Ah, uh, yes. The players that really will feel like there is a lot of choice to be found in, uh, uh, a meaningful choice to be found in the skill tree system are going to find ways to clear the scoring mode content anyways, right? They're finding ways to do it right now without any pruning. They're getting through all the content they want to get through, and of course, it may be a little more difficult if you're not following the, the directly optimal path. However, why are we optimizing the gear, the, the game towards them? They're going to be fine either way, right? It's, it's creating unnecessarily complications when the current system they have is working just fine. Now, I remember back in the day when they had skill trees, right? And people could do some really, really wild shit with skill trees. Uh, that's when you first saw like skank tanks and stuff like that. It was fun, but at the same time, you run to the same issue of, hey, we all know the optimal comp here. If you run this comp or run this skill tree, this is the optimal thing to do, etc., etc. Like people aren't dumb. They're gonna find a way to use math to ruin your your player choice. So that's just kind of my concern right now. Again, it is just a PTS, and we're only seeing one class. And I don't think that's going to be anywhere close to the finished product. They have, you know, an entire half a year to really deal with it. But we'll see what that ends up looking like at the end of the day. Um, no promises, but I'm, I'm really hopeful that we're just looking at like, hey, here's just a test of an AV system and not the actual system itself. This guy says, stun more. Apparently unhappy with getting stunned and apparently unhappy with walking into the middle of four people. You know, as you do. Looks like we have some guys coming to our pile on, so let's go out there and just uh, let's find some people to stomp on. Let's go with that. If I sound a little uh, trippy right now, it's because a halogen light bulb has exploded inside of my room, and so it is just uh, leaking fumes right now. So I am I'm a little up on uh, on halogen apparently that or just it it's, it smells bad, and I, I can't uh, put a single sentence together when my nose is being overrun with uh, the smell of gas. Again, just more cut to pieces glory here. We don't really have much to survive this. I'm going to try to survive for an extra seven seconds, but don't have anything. Therein lies the difficulty of running cut to pieces, especially when we don't have a healer. Uh, Grit Teeth is so overpowered right now that is uh, it's kind of it's kind of wonky. 
but this kind of goes back to what we were talking about before of imagine if on the same uh, if on the same row of your choices you could choose between grit teeth and cut to pieces and then hemophilic slash like that would be or i'm sorry whatever the single target one is i, I can't remember right now like that would be a, an interesting way to keep tacticals in the game without keeping the tactical slot and then opening up the the choice for more um the more or the opportunity for more genuine player choice but i don't know I don't know. It's a PTS. It's it's not what the game's going to look like. And if that's the way the game's going to look like, uh, well, I think we're all going to be quitting the game soon. But it'll be interesting. Another interesting thing that's been going on is that a couple big streamers have been playing the game. I think I saw like Shroud and Summit were playing Swothor, and I'm super happy about that. If you guys see them in game, uh, please behave yourselves. <laughs> I know there's there's always the temptation of like, hey, big streamer, uh, let me let me take my spot my time in the spotlight, um, but. I really hope that they have a good time, and if you're checking this video out because you are a fan of them and you want to learn more about this, uh, welcome to the Swell Tour. It's a good game. Uh, right now, it is free to play, so if you want to check it out, uh, by all means, please do. It's a good time. I thoroughly enjoy it, even if sometimes the PTS scares me. So, that is the uh, that's my my update here for the the PTS. Uh, it's it's a lot like uh, dating a vampire, right? She's going to either uh, suck your soul out or suck your soul out your dick, and so it's going to be one of two things. That's, that's, uh, and you're never quite sure what you're going to get every day. So, we will see. But, until we actually see the final product, it's all speculation, so who gives a fuck? That was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of, uh, motor mouth commentary going over a bunch of, uh, DPS here. I think we did, what, 10k DPS? Yeah, we did. Look at the, look at the big boy DPS with, uh, four deaths. What a, what a legend. Almost 11k. Oh, well. So, I hope you guys are doing well. That is my PTS update. If you guys want to check it out, do. Uh, but I would recommend waiting until they actually finish up the game. Or at least provide a more finished pod product to go check out on the PTS. But it's out there if you want to go check it out. So until next time, I hope you guys have a, uh, have a good one. You, uh, you take care now. Peace.